So basically I'm gonna install this one. I'm gonna do tower and uh, it's this version, the lithium version. It's not a, a life po 4. It's a, a lithium ion battery. It's a bit of a disappointment perhaps but I guess it works. 48 volts. You attach it. I've already put one here. This is the battery module, the extra battery module. And I'm attaching it here. See the cables there? And second one, you attach this one, sort of looks like Anderson. And it goes down there to 48 volts. And then you also attach communication line here and some earth under there and also you got a screw here where you attach this one so you screw this one so this is the front the display I'm gonna remove this one later it had a box in front of it behind this one this one you attached you just push it sort of like in if you want to have it slick you can move this one I think to the back holes here. So you have this one here and you have that one there. So these are the battery modules. Two of them I ordered 585 watt hour lithium battery pack. So I've just hooked up the main. So decided to skip this one. This tower module only fits two. So made some own pieces here and attach them there with screws and now we're gonna configure it this is how the battery is connected this is the emergency power of I'm not gonna use it it shuts off all power even the battery so for some emergency I don't know what that could be but not in, the, in our case so you can see here that the Snyder uses lithium ion NMC batteries. And you can have five battery packs connected to the UPS. Here we have two. So this type here I believe is 600 watt hours. Maximum discharge rate 2 kilowatts and it's 12 amp battery 58 volt DC at full capacity so it's 48 normal. And the weight without packing, 13.7 kilo. So let's try. This is the wizard that comes out first time you start it. We choose English, we choose standard. January, yeah, I put this. Okay. Voltage, 230. That's battery pack one. I think I have two. Strange. Well, I did remove this one and now it started beeping here. Check battery cable. Well, so I put it back in and now it's okay again. So I guess I'll continue even though I have two battery packs. It just says one. Strange. It's a new pack, yes. Ah, two pack. You put it in yourself. Okay. So you can see the battery seems to be low. Let's see, let's charge it up. <coughs> and the output is off. I guess because it, I haven't connected any anything. You can also see the load here. It's nothing. So when you push this one you see a runtime I guess that is when I connected the batteries these two and you can see main menu here but let's go back and uh, well not much fun there so you got the main menu and you can follow this one in the manual see what do you have 
status control and configuration and so on so there are lots you can check out so these are the ones that's gonna be replaced Eton EX1500 it's battery fault and uh, it's, it's hard to see the display and so on yeah and we have Snyder for an APC for many other stuff so time to upgrade see really really hard to see the display yeah so let's go into the status let's check the battery all packs good let's see the UPS not measured no output power no frequency no usage charge 7% of the battery packs and the voltage not self test yet you have to have some load on yeah. no ethernet yeah see more there so you can see that it uh, recognizes the battery see it flashes battery one and if I choose battery two then in a while it will start blinks on the battery two on this one yeah there we have it so it recognizes the battery you can also see the status of the battery the temperature and the voltage you have two outlets group here group one and group two and you can configure them in the software When you have the advanced menu, you can check the external pack temperature. It's good health. And pack number two. It's a bit colder. Good health also. In the control menu, you can check the outlet's status. It's online. I believe but you can turn it off if I do that now output off by user and you have the small lines here change and turn it on immediately online and you see that the, the scratch there doesn't it's alive you also have the bypass control you disconnect the batteries by going into a bypass click and then now it's bypass so it goes completely uh, not it does it goes uh, around the batteries so it's like a no UPS here in this mode you can swap the batteries without disturbing the channel as, as long the mains as long as uh, no uh, disturbance of the mains let's go out of bypass again and there we are live online with one here live one output Ja, ryck på, ryck den då. Ja, det är stendåg här. Ja. Under där. Oh, it got, it went bad, it went bad. It's red over the place. Oh, the, you get a cut, it's not a cut. Ah! So, here we are. The barrier is full. And, uh, we get a load of 93 volt ampere and runtime about with that load is 9 hour got a bit high input here so real is the active power and this is with the included uh, uh, 
uh, volt ampage, ampered. So 6% load. So you even see the current and energy usage since start. Charge time. 25th successful test runtime test so this is the suggestion replace 2026 up and running again yay so that's it thanks for watching hope you like you got something out of it you can you can subscribe share comment i like all of it bye bye